Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video I'm doing the Black Summer Tea Challenge which was made by Claire from Black Summer Colouring which you should go over and check out her version of this because she did a really good job doing like a tea mermaid but yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, at first I didn't really know what to draw because all that came into mind was a mermaid which Claire had done and I think I've done a few mermaids so it's like mm, maybe not a mermaid would be very good so I ended up coming up with this one which was like a horned girl with it was originally going to have she was going to hold like a teacup but I just couldn't get the drawing of the cup right and the hand just looked funny so then I thought I'd change it to a Japanese teacup like in the anime and stuff that you see a lot but again it just it didn't look right so I just decided to scrap that idea but at the start of the video I was actually using highlighter pencils which I got on sale for 40p at, the, at Ryman's but I really didn't like drawing with them the lead in it is so hard it just really didn't draw very well at all so I just swapped back to my normal WH Smith ones and uh, Faber-Castell but yeah um, I made a few different choices when I was doing this piece because again like I said with the teacup I kept changing my mind on that and then I couldn't make my mind up on the hairstyle so I ended up settling on one side long one side short and that was I like how it turned out now but it took a little while longer to sketch it out than it normally does but I then traced this onto my A4 De La Rowney 169 pound mixed media paper which I'm really enjoying this paper I got it on holiday in Falmouth and it works quite well it's not as good as my watercolor paper but it is a cheaper option and when it's just doing challenge ones like this that I'm not really sure how it works then I really like how it goes but as you can see now I have a lot of different teas this isn't even all of them but for this one I decided I'd go with the box of fruit teas and try those different ones my Earl Grey and green tea I was actually expecting the green tea to be a bit more green but it was a bit yellow I thought I, I think I just put a bit too much water in but I'm not sure it still worked out alright and the Earl Grey it worked really well for the skin tone which you can see me doing now it was quite a nice muted tone and it was really easy to keep layering the colour up but it was the fruit teas that were quite interesting really because when you pour them out they are some of them come out quite red some of them pink like you can see on the little test swatches I'm doing but then as they dry they turn purple or blue or even some grey which was really weird I ended up leaving some of them overnight and doing this piece over two days and the colours just changed so much it was really it was interesting but slightly frustrating sometimes because I wanted that red tone to stay but it didn't so I ended up going over the picture with some of my um, Prismacolor pencils at the end but I really like how it turned out the yeah it, it smells really nice though so that, I suppose that's one nice thing <laughs> now it's finished it doesn't actually look like it was done with tea but it smells like it was done with fruit tea so yeah but anyway um, at the end I do, like I said, I use my Prismacolor pencils and my Pentel Pocket Bush Pen just to line it. But other than that, I think that's it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in my next video.